Hey, good morning, good morning everybody. How are you doing out there today? I'm doing fantastic this morning. But yeah, I just uh, did my walk around, inspect the vehicle and all of that. So now what we're gonna do is gonna open up the hood and I gotta put more windshield washer fluid in and gotta check the oil and check everything here, you know. I can see the bricks better when i am uh, got my hood open and all that good stuff, so let's get to it. Alrighty guys, we just finished checking our uh, fluid and all that. And you now we're on top of the engine up here. And I gotta clean my windshield. You see a spot right there? We gotta clean all around over here where because that's where the camera usually sits. So we gotta clean everything. So let's get to it. I usually have like a spray bottle like this. Take a little bit of to uh, paper towel. And uh, I'm usually able to get it off really nicely like that. Because that's usually how I do it. And that's a lot easier to get these bugs off of there like this than trying to get it off of there with the with the windshield wipers, you know. Yeah. That's usually what I do anyways. And this seems to work for me. That's right. There we go. Now we're getting there nice and clean. There you go. At least we got that one spot nice and clean over there now, you know? We're just getting our day started. Well, we started it a little bit ago, right? As you saw in my previous clip, but we had to finish doing all our paperwork and all of that good stuff, so... My tip of the day for today is, uh, for those of you guys that are truck drivers, a good tip for the day is, before you leave, Make sure you have your truck idling for a good while, at least 15 minutes. Get the engine nice and warm. And then as you go to take off, press in all your brakes, like uh, these yellow and red button there, release your brakes. And then uh, go ahead and press your brake pedal in all the way, at least three times. Do that every morning. So that way, what happens is if you do that, it adjusts your brakes. We got uh, a thing called slack adjusters. And uh, when you press the brake in all the way, it actually has an automated system with the slack adjusters to where the slack adjuster uh, actually adjusts itself and uh, you'll have better brakes because that makes it a little tighter so that way when you push in your brake next time your brake is going to be applying a little harder you know or a little bit better if it's auto adjustment you won't have no brakes or hardly any at all so it's a good idea to do that every morning make that a habit you know so that way uh, your brakes are always uh, adjusted unless a uh, slack adjuster fails then it won't adjust it, right? But I think it's a good practice to do that every morning. At least I try to do it anyways. But not everybody uh, remembers to do it, but that's why I said make it a habit in the morning, do that. But that's my tip of the day. Yeah, every once in a while we do give tips out here. Might not be anything major, but a brakes is a major part of your trucking or of your truck and uh, hey if you're not safe on the road you know it could result in a fatality or something you know you could kill somebody because you failed to stop so it's a major part of our uh, truck you know but yeah another gorgeous day out here today isn't it at least I think so beautiful beautiful sunshine no wind at all, like when I was outside, I mean, hardly, you couldn't even realize it. You couldn't even feel any wind out there, so just an absolutely gorgeous day. So yeah, we got us about two hours worth of driving to do. Be 
before we get to uh, our delivery place. I've been there before, so usually it doesn't take very long to get uh, unloaded over there. So hopefully it's no different today. And then we'll make our way towards our uh, pickup place. That was only about 80 miles to our pickup place anyway, so. And we need to be there no later than 3.30. I already looked that up so uh, right now it looks like we will be at our uh, delivery place about 11 o'clock I would say Central Standard Time so give or take an hour to unload 12 o'clock we're done hour and a half hour three quarters down there to get my load should be there by two o'clock so give or take so that's good that means we can go pick up our load and then uh, depending on how long that's going to take we can actually start uh, making our way back home again and if we can do that we can drive a little bit on our way home yet tonight then uh, I can be home tomorrow night so that would be awesome well I wouldn't have big miles this week, but that way I could just do a reset Friday and leave again on Saturday morning. That's the plan as of right now anyways. Do it that way. Hopefully then they can give me a nice long trip and if nothing else, at least we get, we're racking up some miles, right? So that's the main plan, right? And by the end of today, it's already done with August. Man, that time flies fast. Next month is already September and I gotta do the safety on this truck. That is something that I've been dreading for the last year. And here we are now, it's already there, you know. But uh, we'll get it done, I guess. And then we'll... Uh, continue on got no other choice we gotta pay our bills right but I appreciate you guys tuning in this fine morning that's coming right along with the trucker booty show and let's have ourselves a fantastic day what do you guys think is that a good idea or what I think it is I like to be positive on my channel and if I can put a smile on your days you know, your day uh, start as well. That makes my day. We can put a smile when you wake up and first thing you think of is watching a trucker Rudy show and he puts a smile on your face. Man, that makes me happy. But yeah, let's continue on cruising along here. We have gotten our load unloaded. Now we're putting the hammer down towards our uh, pickup place. Got us 80 miles to go yet. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's go down there and see if we can get reloaded right away and put the hammer down going back home, I guess. If we can uh, make that happen, that would be awesome. That would mean I could be home tomorrow night. And then I'll just do a reset and uh, go again on Saturday if I can. And Monday is a holiday, so. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that I will get me a nice long trip on Saturday so that way I do a three-day drive and then deliver somewhere on Tuesday that would be kind of nice if I could do that that would be very nice actually indeed yeah so uh, I'll have to see how it goes but uh, yeah I'm happy 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 I have just gotten my load yeah we made it over there and hey they put us in a dock like right away and there's like nobody ahead of me there so uh, I was able to get loaded like right away only took them like 20 or 30 minutes and they had me loaded so man uh, today everything is going smoothly and it's only like 20 after 2 right now <laughs> so we're already out of there and on our way back to Winnipeg so uh, so yeah 
here we go. We will be uh, arriving at Highway 10 here right away. And then uh, we'll make our uh, turn to go on to Highway 10. And then from there, we'll make it over to, to uh, US 10 West Stevens Point. 39, I-39. And then we'll take that north up to US 29. And we'll take that over there to uh, I-24, uh, I-94. I meant to say. Yeah. So here we go. We're turning on to uh, US 10. Yeah, just an absolutely gorgeous day out here. I can't stress that enough, you know. No wind at all, as you can tell. I mean, look at the uh, grass over there. It's like not even moving. So it's just a beautiful day out here. <clears throat> Little cloudy, but other than that, we're just giving her. It is indeed a little bit of a heavy load, so uh, we're going to have to scale her somewhere. Hopefully we'll be okay. I mean, it's not super heavy, but 42,700 pounds or something like that, so that could be a little heavy. So hopefully we will be able to make her uh, legal. I was looking around and... There really ain't any scales around this area, so I don't know. Don't know exactly where we will have to find us a scale. Hopefully we can scale it. Make it legal, like I said, so uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. I am just coming up to Curtis, Wisconsin. We're gonna go to this truck stop right here. And then we're going to go ahead and scale our load. Yeah, that's what we needed to do, right? I had to really clean this windshield good because I had a bug right there in front of my camera there. So I couldn't really show you that because that's, you know, right in front of the lens. So here we are pulling on to this cat scale. Yeah, so let's get our weight on our truck and let's see how heavy we are let's go ahead and find out and i am going to be using this app to take care of this i think that some of you might have seen that on my website but yeah there we go so let's take care of it all right guys we have done our business up here now that's right we have scaled our load, we fueled our up all the way, went and took a shower, and then I went and had me a bite to eat, and here we are, getting back on the road again. It's quarter to six right now, and I looked it up and I got another hundred miles to Wilson, Wisconsin. There is a uh, quick trip truck stop up there. There is generally always parking in there, so uh, on this road for 51 miles. I have decided to uh, continue on to go up there. So I'll probably be there by 7.30. That's still fairly early. So I decided, you know what, let's continue cruising along here. And that's uh, 100 miles less that I have to do tomorrow, right? That's what I figured. So we got the main thing done, which was taking a shower and fueling and scaling and all that stuff. So, well, eating is important too, right? That's what they claim anyways. So here we are. Still a beautiful hot day out here today. It is actually fairly warm out here. But hey, we ain't gonna complain about that too much, are we? No siree, Bob. It's starting to cool down pretty good overnight already, so we know that winter is just around the corner. That's right. But yeah, let's get on down the road and uh, get the last little bit of miles put in for today. Look at here, guys. 
we got the chicken coop open up here in Minneapolis. Well, I guess it's St. Paul, Minnesota, but uh, yeah, they're open. That's very surprising to me. I mean, it's already quarter to eight in the evening, but hey, we did decide to go ahead and go through Minneapolis anyways today because uh, I figured by the time I get over here to Wilson, Wisconsin, where I was going to stop, then uh, I was going to be pretty much going through rush hour in the morning if I were to do that. I didn't really want to do that, so I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and go through Minneapolis today. I'll get to the other side and I'll find me a place to park, rest area or whatever, and we'll call it a day. But yeah, look at this. We're going to have to go across this chicken house here. I do know they have a bypass lane here, so they just pre-scale you and then uh, and then they'll uh, give you an arrow of which way you're supposed to go. So we'll find out here in a little bit if we gotta go and see them or if they want us on the plate or or if they'll give us the bypass lane or whatever. So uh oh, the guy ahead of me, he's getting uh, he's getting to go on the scale. I wouldn't be surprised if I did either, but. No, no, we got the bypass. Keep to the left. Look at that. That's awesome. So yeah, so let's nice go ahead and get out of here before they change their mind. Alrighty guys, it is actually the next morning and that sun is bright, I'm telling you. Let me put this down a little bit. It might look a little awkward, but hey, better than looking directly into that sun, right? <laughs> Yeah, we got here kind of late last night, and I said, ah, I'm going to bed, so here we are, and the next morning we got her up, and, uh, and washed my face a little bit, and uh, now we are just closing off the show, yeah, yeah, that's right, we are clear, we are sitting in Clearwater, Minnesota this morning, and we stayed here all night. Yep, so we got us uh, about seven hour drive from here to Winnipeg, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get out of here, and we'll see you right here tomorrow morning on the Trucker Rudy Show. <laughs>